Hey y'all, so it's been a minute. Just signed up for a gym membership. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nakia and I am the owner of Beyond the Skin. We sell all natural skincare products. I'm trying to do a lot more vlogging on other things besides business, but that is what I mostly do. I do behind the scenes and stuff like that, but I'm trying to do more. So I just signed up for the gym. So we're gonna do a little bit of fitness. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna learn just gym this gym itself the first day that I come next week they're actually gonna do like a consultation I'm trying to get that body so um, we gotta get rid of this gut and I gotta tone my arms and yeah so I definitely need to work on what I eat because 90% of work 90% um, of you know a lifestyle a healthy lifestyle is what you eat and then 10% of it is actually working out so it doesn't make sense for me to work out and I'm eating trash it, it just it doesn't it doesn't make sense so yeah we're gonna try to start eating better lessen my carb intake because that is gonna be deductive me I promise you carbs bread 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 oh honey me and her me and her is like we go together but we're gonna have to not go together because I'm trying to get the stomach on flat flat so yeah um currently right now I'm still sitting in the parking lot of the gym and I have these packages that I have to go drop off because they were kind of not behind they weren't behind because I was actually in my process in time but I wanted to get it out sooner than what it was so I'm about to go drop that and yeah I have to go get some gas because your girl is on 31 miles who else be doing that I'll be driving to like 15 miles per hour not 15 miles left in my car <laughs> that is so bad for your engine but I had to rush here for this appointment to meet with this um the what do you call that representative but yeah yeah I like my nails I'm trying out the red theory is good luck so I'm trying to get the little good luck going on so yeah I did my nails I did um tips and then I did the dip powder myself so yeah this is what it's looking like but yeah enough of my chatting we're about to go drop this off and then I'm gonna go head back and get some work done so I will bring you guys along I think I need to go to Target but I don't think I want to do that right now but yeah anyway let me go jam and I'll catch you guys in a few <laughs> to fill I said fill I did that last night I have to label the body butters that we just made two days ago um they're solidified so they're good to go and I have to label some of the turmeric lemon body polish and yeah and I'm um, like my eye I don't know what's going on it's like I know it's not um red eye what is it called is it red eye wake up in your eyes crust shut closed that's not what I have. A pink eye. I said red eye. Yeah, it's not pink eye because my eye was not crusty or anything. So it might just be stress or I was just really tired because I stayed up late last night. I just went and got me a pick-me-upper because I need it so bad. They have a new flavor, mango pineapple. Chef's kiss. Um, Yeah, them drinks are addicting. As you guys know, that's, I drink that all the time. But if you guys aren't familiar with what's going on with TikTok, yesterday they had the meeting in Congress um, with Mr. Chu, which is the CEO, and they was they they was bullying him like so bad. At this point, they already had their mind made up as to what they're gonna do. So, and I know they're they're most likely gonna ban it. So I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. 
I don't know if the girlies want to go back over to Instagram because a lot of people are trying to boycott right now talking about deleting Facebook and Instagram because of this whole situation with TikTok. So I'm not too sure what to do. As you all may or may not know, my TikTok has grown over the past year. I think we're currently at like 24,000. So for them to like say that that may just go down the toilet is stressing me out. But again, I always no going into social media it could be here one day and out the other so i always encourage you guys as small business owners to make sure you build your your email and sms list i've said it numerous times in different videos on here and this is why i say do that because you never know when they're gonna be like you're done and you're gonna be sitting there like what do i do so thankfully i have my email list those are my you know my customers i have that no one can take away from me because it's on my website um and then of course i have instagram but instagram it's not that much people over there and i don't really have facebook or i don't post on it i should say and then um i do post here there on interest on pinterest i haven't done in that i haven't done that in so long but yeah um i was looking on tiktok and People were mentioning this app called Clapper. I know y'all, the name, the name just, it, 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 it's just not sticking with me. I don't know why it's named Clapper. It, it has like hands like this with the emoji. So I'm like, is that the reference? I, I, I couldn't tell you. But um, yeah, it looks pretty much like, it's literally a TikTok dupe. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's literally a TikTok dupe. I literally made this account last night. And look how much followers I already have. 159 and one of the videos i hit 2k on there already like right here so the growth is really fast now let me tell you the cons uh your for you page is gonna be all over the place uh, there's workers on there if you catch the, the drift and you scroll and i'm like whoa 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 so i try to do like not interested and stuff and, and like things that i you know i'm interested in so that it can pretty much tell the algorithm like hey i want to see this i don't want to see that and it's not really working but again i feel i don't know how long this app has actually been open i need to dig more into it and see um you know information and stuff but it's like a whole different community on there like just throwing business stuff in there because i haven't really seen any much businesses i've seen a couple and yeah but i would say that's a con another con is if you record within the, I think, because I've been uploading repurposing. If you record a video straight out of the app, the lips are not matching to what you're saying. Like, it's delayed. I've been seeing that on a lot of people's videos, and I'm like, what's going on? You can't use filters, which I don't mind. I don't really live by those. I do use it on TikTok sometimes, but it's like, I'm not going to die if I don't have a filter. Like, it's okay. Um... There's a couple other things that they don't have, to be honest, but I'm sure they're going to work on it once more people start to gravitate there. I'm just trying to jump on the ban the bandwagon before it blows up like TikTok, because when TikTok first came out, I discredited it so bad and I did not go on there. And I wish I would have because I missed that rush where everyone pretty much would just go viral for anything. And I was a late bloomer, a late bloomer to that. So I was like, let me get ahead of the curve and get on this app before it blows up so i could be one of those people that already got like a million followers before everybody else start strolling on in so definitely did that so i recommend doing that just in case tiktok is going or not but it's always good to have different um platforms anyway i'm still gonna keep this whether tiktok stays or not and then another one i found that i've heard people talking about let me show you guys which is called fanbase this one's a little bit slower. I'm not really understanding this one. This has a different interface than the Clapper. Clapper literally looks like the bootleg version of TikTok. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I'm still trying to figure this out. One video, I got like 328 views. The other, I only got, what, two, so. And then you can make regular posts, like Instagram. And then they have Flix, which is you making videos, so. We're gonna see, I'm just trying to I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket again. I'm just going to, you know, keep posting on different platforms, which equals more people seeing your products and, you know, knowing about your business. So it's not a lose-lose situation. It's a win-win situation. So, yeah. Anyway, let me get into some work. I'm going to go and do what I need to do, and then I'll check back in with you guys. All right. So 
I didn't film right away because I forgot I had to make um, the Brighten Lip Scrubs, which I did. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I popped it back here. So I have to go and label these. And I have to label the body butters now. Um, the body butters, I have to print the label, so I actually should have did that. Mm. Y'all, and it's 312 and I have to pack orders, so I'm going to do a couple so I can pack these orders so UPS can come and pick them up and then I'm going to do the rest after, but I literally have to get these out. Um, I have to clean space. Everything is all over the place. There we go. I haven't made the, the labels for these um, with sticker giant yet, so I'm just gonna work on that. But I'm just gonna use what I have for now. Because if you guys can see my printer, literally with some of the labels, it comes out weird. I don't know if you guys, guys can see it. It has like little streaks in it, which is annoying, but I'll just have to make do. I know some customers don't really care about that because they're like, as long as the product is good, but it bothers me because I'm such a perfectionist. So I think I'm just gonna print some new ones in hopes that it will not do that little streaking thing that it does. Just make sure they are all clean um, from oil or anything. But yeah, y'all, how have y'all been? I know it's been a minute. I need to get back on my consistent schedule of posting. It's just been a lot going on. And definitely have a lot more of video ideas that I just need to execute. <laughs> But I'm gonna try to do so and incorporate a lot more other vlogs, just like day in the life. I just signed up for a gym, as I said earlier in this video. I officially start Monday. I'm holding myself accountable because I just wanna overall be fit, be healthy on the inside and on the outside. And I feel like it's gonna just. Give me some clarity because I remember when I used to go to the gym, it used to be just like a stress reliever and I used to like just have my thoughts and the things I need to do and it makes me think clearer. So definitely going to start doing that. And I've always said I wanted to work on time management and being that girl that wakes up super, super early. So I'm going to try to do that. The gym that I have, they have 5.45 a.m. classes. I'm just going to tread lightly. I'm going to crawl before I walk and do the nine o'clock ones. And then once I feel like my body's equipped to the things that I'm doing in the classes, um, I will then do the earlier classes. But I don't wanna be waking up four o'clock in the morning and <laughs> I don't I don't wanna to commit to that yet. So I'm gonna do the nine o'clock and see how my body goes and stuff. Cause guys, I don't really work out. And when I did go to the gym, that was maybe like seven years ago. It's terrible like seven years ago and again I wasn't even like nowhere near a pro I was like amateur I don't my form is off like I don't know what I'm doing I didn't know what I was doing back then and I definitely don't know what I'm doing now so the gym luckily that I have they're gonna do like evaluation with me on Monday with the trainer and I can opt in to have him as a personal trainer but that's a little pricey right now so I'm definitely just gonna do the classes because they're able to guide you and help you out. I just want to learn my body and what works and what doesn't work and my form and them type of things. And once I feel like I'm committed and you know I'm in a, the groove, I can then you know opt in to do a personal trainer. But I just want to start off small. I don't want to make any huge, huge commitments at the moment. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Summer is coming, and I don't. I hate to say that, but. It should be like that all year round. But I'm just overall trying to change my lifestyle as far as eating habits and working out. So I gotta make sure my health is good. Cause you know, as like with the business owner and you're by yourself, I tend to do everything and I start to lack in other departments such as my mental, my physical, 
it's everything the way it, sometimes I don't even eat for the day sometimes I have one meal sometimes and then when I do eat it's not anything healthy it's just I need to drink more water there's a lot of things and I feel like I can't be my best self if I'm not taking care of my body so so at the end of the day if I'm not here who's gonna run the business so I have to make sure my health comes first so those are one of my goals that I am. I said I was gonna do for this year. So I'm holding myself to that. We going in there fully committed. Okay, no excuses. No, I don't have any gym clothes. I don't have this, I don't have that. Nope, I have nothing to back out of this. Nothing, no excuses. So I'm just like scared of me like spraining anything or just my muscles being sore i know that comes with it but i don't like that when you get them jello legs mm -mm. i ain't ready for that i am not ready but yeah so i'm just labeling the lip scrubs i have to make some more labels but this is what we have so far and yeah, then I'm gonna do everything else. This is the vanilla and cocoa body butter. It smells so amazing. Mm. All right, y'all, I'll be back. I have to go print some of these labels. So y'all, I didn't get to show y'all I, that I packed these, but I had to do them. I had to do them so that UPS can come and pick them up. So I got two bags. Two bags full. So these should be going out. We're back. Anyway, I'm gonna pack some orders. I did pack orders without filming it. I'm just gonna get started because I wanna close up this vlog. It's gonna be all over the place, so I do apologize. So we're gonna get started. Um, These orders will go out on Monday because today is just... It's too much going on. All right, so we have Teresa. Teresa got a oatmeal and honey skin bar. Hopefully you guys can see it. Up, oh, and the camera's gonna die. All right, y'all, the camera died, but I'm back. So yeah, this person got a oatmeal and honey skin bar. Really good for sensitive skin, dry skin, eczema, psoriasis. There's a lot of benefits for this skin bar. And then they got a black cherry, black cherry body oil. Y'all, drop in the comments if you've bought the body oil, which one do you like, the buttercream or the black cherry? We're always having this debate on TikTok Live, and I swear people love the buttercream more. Black cherry is my favorite, so I don't know. But I love both of them, but black cherry I would choose 10 times over and over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pack this up. Put them here. I started making more samples, so we're gonna pop a buttercream sample inside of here for them. Crinkle paper, which I have to go grab some in the basement because there's not a lot left here. And we got a new design for our packaging tape. I actually like this color and this print a lot better than the brown one, so I think I'm gonna order more of these. Or I may just do both because I have another roll of them, but this is what it looks like to me one. I love it. This time I put my social media on there instead of just the website, so 
Are we loving it? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, that was one of the things I changed. What's next? We have, Kim got a black soap. So we're just gonna pop this one in the bubble nailer. Thank you, Car, and the um, thing. So, as you guys know, we transitioned to a more um, waterproof label. So, these are the new labels, so it should not be, um, when it gets wet, the words and stuff will not be rubbing off anymore. It was like a pet peeve for me. And I just put some crinkle paper in there too, just to um, make sure you know. UTS still is gonna toss this all around. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can put a sample in there for her too. I forgot. So I'm gonna put another buttercream sample. And y'all hear me out of breath? This is why I'm going to the gym. I haven't even done anything. Why am I out of breath? All right. Oh, Kim got, she ordered twice. Oh, it's just gonna go separate. She ended up getting a charcoal wash as well. I wish I would have known that, but I already printed out two labels to go void it and all that stuff is gonna be a hassle. So it'll just go separate, but Hopefully it'll get there at the same time because it's literally two mailers and and she got the charcoal. This is good if you have any body acne, face acne, um, blemishes, uneven skin tone, excessive oil, dirt, or bacteria. So this will help with that. And again, you can use that on your face and body because there is no fragrance in there. So I made it with that in mind. Alright, so that order is done. Next up, we have Alexis. Alexis got a 8 ounce lemon bar body oil. We just launched this oil, guys. It smells amazing. All my customers were requesting it. And they was ready to tussle with me when I said, no, I'm not going to do it. And they kept emailing me, DMing me, and mentioning it on my live stream. So here y'all go. We do have it in the 8 ounce. Oh, 8 ounce. And we have it in the 4 ounce version. So both of these sizes are available. It smells amazing. If you have tried our lemon bar exfoliating body polish, then you would love that because this smells amazing. It's the same thing. So customers were getting this and it was like, oh, we need this in the oil. Some even asked for butter. I don't know about that. We'll see. But for right now, we have the oil and the um, we have the oil and the body polish. And these will pair very good together. So she got the eight ounce. I'm gonna wrap this one up in a small box. So I don't want to put that one in a mailer. So it's a lemon bar. Give them a buttercream oil. I don't have any more of the body polish. I have to make some more of those. So that's what's going to be her sample. That one's done. We are moving fast. No, seriously. Okay. Next up, we have Kendall. Kendall got a eight ounce lemon bar as well. So these are doing good so far. I mean, I should, cause you guys were requesting it. The saying, like. Now we have Shyota, 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 I think I'm pronouncing it right. Oh, I'm messing it up, I know I am. They got a buttercream body oil. They got a 
4 ounce Kayomi serum. If you have eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, rashes, patchy skin, uneven skin tones, dark marks, literally the list goes on. Oh, Rochea is another one. Definitely good for most skin conditions, trust me. My customers live by this. Some customers even use it on their babies when it comes to eczema and rashes. I don't always put that claim out there to use it on your kids, but I do have customers that do that, so. It's up to you as a parent and under your discretion whether you want to use it or not. Black cherry oil. Black cherry oil. So everyone is loving the oils, as y'all can see. Definitely won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, let me know in the comments what other videos I should do. Like, should I do more get ready with me and like pampering, um, self care type of videos? I'm gonna incorporate some things like that. So, let me know some ideas in the comments down below. Is your girl trying to film more? And sometimes I just like don't know what to film, and it'll help if you guys kind of let me know what you guys watch because I don't want to make content that you guys aren't interested in. So, it will be greatly appreciated if you could give me some ideas in the comments. guys thank you again for watching make sure you follow us on all of our social media platform instagram tiktok if it doesn't get taken away i'm gonna also try to go live on here as well a couple of days a week and get a feel of it so make sure you subscribe so you can check out check out our live streams make sure you like this video comment down below and let me know some ideas and yes i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye